Hey everybody, Jamie here with some important announcements about the van build. We're only about a week away from things kicking off and I know that a lot of you are coming in from out of state. Maybe you've never been in the, you know, the uh, Southwest before. You're not sure what kind of a town parker is, what kind of services they offer. You're not sure how you're going to get the equipment that you might need for your solar or your fan or some of the other things you're going to need to have done. You don't know where to park once you get there, how to register and get your wristband once you show up. We're going to talk about all that right now. Packages. Let's say you're coming from a long distance away and you don't want to have to carry all your equipment with you. Big solar panels, batteries, these things are in big boxes when they, when they ship them to you half the time and it's going to take up a lot of room in your rig. No sweat. We've got a package service already set up very close to the event. It's about eight and a half, nine miles away. Shea Road itself is about eight and a half miles down where we're camping from 95, which is the main kind of highway corridor down through the Parker and uh, Courtsite area. We have a package service called Parker Mail and Parcel. And the address is in the notes of this video. I've already talked to Frank who owns the, the business and he's agreed to accept $4 per package for folks coming to the van build. It's normally five or six bucks a package, but in the agreement that we've set up for this event, he's gonna go ahead and do it for $4 a package. Now what that means for you is that you don't need to go down, typically when you sign up for a mail service to have packages sent in, they want you to come down, take a copy of your driver's license, have you sign up for a three month box, six month year box, and then issue you a key. And a lot of companies won't even take packages on your behalf unless you've come down in person and signed up first. Well, that's not the case this time with uh, Parker Mail and Parcel. You can go ahead right now if you know that you're gonna have some equipment that you want installed at the event, but don't wanna carry it, and order that equipment and have it sent to them. And the way you would do it is you would just have it sent to Parker Mail and Parcel. And the address is 621 West Riverside Drive A, Parker, Arizona, 85344. Put your name on there and then beside it put Van Build so they know just to charge you that uh, $4 per package. It's unlimited. So whatever you need to have sent, go ahead and do it. I, I uh, am gonna be getting a lot of stuff sent in there myself. Which brings up another thing. If you're signed up to have solar done and you're wondering what to order, at one point I put a video out about a month ago, I said, tell me what you need and I'll make up some packages. Well, as I went through that process to make up those packages, it uh, started becoming more evident to me that it, I, it's kind of difficult to set up a one size fits all if I don't see your roof, I don't know how much real estate you've got up there for a solar panel. We want to get as much solar as we possibly can on your roof. And so I'm just doing these uh, power pack reviews. I've still got a couple more power pack reviews to do first because I wanted to take a look at all of them and see at the different price points how they performed. So we've got the, the, the starter kit stuff you know, covered in the, in the previous videos depending on your budget for that. But if you're thinking, man, I want solar on my roof. I want some big panels. I want some coach batteries. I want something substantial. We're going to have batteries on site 
at a special event price and we're gonna have solar panels on site at a special event price so you've got you're covered on those you can get them anywhere you want source that stuff as best you can but myself and Christina have been doing the groundwork to set up these uh, arrangements to have these companies bring this stuff down here offer us a special price and I just don't think you're gonna beat it uh, if you go elsewhere you're welcome to find it wherever you want but uh, so we'll, we'll get you solar panels depending on the size and fit of your roof and how much solar you, you think you're going to need. We always want to go more solar than we think we're going to need. It's always a good policy. And we've got you covered on the batteries. They're interstate batteries and they're 6 volt batteries. And so you partner two 6 volt batteries together to add up to 12.6. 12, 12 and the reason that we want to go with 6 volt batteries instead of two 12 volt batteries is because the lead plates inside those 6 volt batteries are thicker and therefore they're more robust, they're more durable and it's just a better way to go. That's why you see golf carts using two 6 volt batteries instead of 12 volt batteries to power their golf carts on the golf courses because they know that the kids they hire to recharge those batteries, the, the people that are going to be renting them out, they're not always going to take as good a care of them as maybe they need so they want something that can be resistant to a little bit of abuse basically and that's why those big thick plates in those 6 volt batteries work out better uh, than uh, paralleling 12 volt batteries talking about lead acid so those are going to be on site I believe I'm reluctant to give you prices on this so don't quote me on these prices because I didn't have a pen handy when I was talking to Ken down at Interstate so I'm probably not off by very much here but I just want to give you an idea what we're talking about two 235 amp hour 6 volt batteries when you wire them in series that makes it a 112 volt 235 uh, amp battery are going to be selling at the event for about $250 and that's a pretty good price for that much battery uh, the solar panels we're getting for under a dollar a watt and they've got the copper backing on the panels they're good quality panels by a company called Santan you can look up SantanSolar.com and check out what they have to offer go ahead and pick up your panels there if you see something you like have them sent into Parker and have them waiting for you you know that's an option but they're bringing pallets of solar panels we ended up going out and getting pallets of them last year we're gonna have them right on site this year so just briefly let's talk about the the solar cost that you might be looking at for a basic system to uh, install it on your rig you're talking about uh, you know maybe two hundred and fifty dollars give or take on the batteries let's say another hundred and fifty dollars for the solar so that's gonna put you at three four hundred maybe a little bit more than four hundred maybe four fifty something like that and then you're gonna need a solar controller which in most cases you're going to be able to get away with a smart solar by Victron 7515 and what that is is it's 75 volts 15 amps they've got those on Amazon right now for hundred and twenty dollars it's a magnificent solar controller I've got one Victron and I'm getting ready to install another Victron because I just absolutely love the ability to calibrate well first of all I like how well they perform and I like the ability to calibrate your batteries to what they need in their float stage right there on an app on your phone at Bluetooth to an app on your phone now if you say hey I'm not tech savvy I'm not gonna be able to understand that stuff we will help you understand it we will help you download the app when we install if you decide to go with the Victron how to do it I don't have any arrangements with Victron I've just been using different solar controllers over the years and I really like the way those things perform there's probably good ones out there too but the Victrons have been working out really well for me there's a ability to track it over a month's time what kind of performance you're getting with graphs and different things on your solar it'll tell you right there on the app how many watts you're pulling in so as you're pulling in to, to park someplace you can be looking at the app and orient your vehicle different ways depending on where the Sun is at different parts of the day there's just a lot of advantages to the Victron that I really like so we're looking at getting you let's say two hundred and fifty dollars for the batteries another hundred and fifty or so for the solar panel it's going to depend on what panel you get 120 for the Victron solar controller so now you're into it for about 520 bucks I'm just coming off the top of my head with this but I think I'm pretty close you're then going to need a an inverter and you're going to need to fuse these things and you can use a fuse block they're a little more expensive I like fuse blocks but you could use inline fuses with inline fuse holders that would save you quite a bit of money uh, you're going to need uh, Z brackets for the solar panels. They're not going to come with Z brackets. 
some die core and some butyl tape to lay those things down with some uh, self tapping screws if you put them down with self tapping screws which I've had a lot of very good luck with I've never had a self tapping screwed solar panel mounted on a roof fail yet and I check in with folks over the years that I've done installs for and just ask them how they're performing and everything seems to be going well with those so there's a lot of little ancillaries besides those core items that you're gonna need but I don't want you to worry about that stuff if you can afford it yeah absolutely get that stuff but there's gonna be a lot of people there that buy it and then they don't use everything that they need for instance you've got cables connecting the solar the two batteries together and the cables have to have lugs on them for them to work right it's nice if they have shrink wrap tubing on them all these little things add up and are gonna be required to do a really nice install we're not trying to just knock slap this thing in for you we want it to be a professional installation and all these little things are going to be necessary but a lot of people bring this stuff to the van build they don't use all of it and they donate what they don't what they didn't use to the next person or they just give it to that solar team let's say they had it done by solar team five and they say look here just hang on to this stuff for the next people that might need it there's a lot of that going on so i don't want you to think well i've got you know 550 dollars for my solar budget and that's all i've got so i guess i can't afford solar we're going to do everything we can to pull together to make every installation work for you and also be a tight uh, professional installation so I just don't want you to worry about that stuff, which brings me to the next topic, the Amazon wish list. Every year I put out an Amazon wish list about this time of year and encourage viewers to go down, click the link, look at everything there, find out what you might want to help contribute to the van build, what your budget might be for contributing, and just pick up a few items. All you got to do is just click the items and pay for them and they're going to be automatically mailed down to Parker where we're going to be and I'll get them and collect them and we'll dispense them out to the solar teams as needed. So I would encourage anyone, every time I ask folks, you guys to, to help me out, whether it be for the van build or whether it be the Paradise Fires, you always come through in spades. And I just want to say that I really appreciate that. It really shows me a lot about the value of the viewers that I'm lucky enough to have on the channel. And so I want to say thank you for that. And if you're up for it again this year, now is the time to go onto that wish list and pick up some items so folks will have them that might be coming up short. On that note, if you go onto the wish list and purchase uh, enough items that it exceed, meet, meets or exceeds $75, well, that's the ticket price to get in. So if you send me a screenshot to enigmaticnomadics at gmail.com of your $75 purchase, I will write you in for a wristband. That will qualify you for a wristband. Now, you may be watching this at home and thinking, well, I, I want to help, but I'm not going to come to the van build. Go ahead and, and send me that screenshot. Email it to me. And just let me know this is for a wristband for somebody else that couldn't otherwise afford it. And we can just go ahead and do it that way. Or you can list somebody's name. We'll write their name in as a wristband waiting for them. So that's a way that somebody can still come to the van build without necessarily buying a, buying a ticket, but helping everybody have what they need once we get there. We're, we're getting uh, stuff for solar installations, fan installations, just anything that we can think of that people might be short of. So if you can help out on that, I really appreciate you pitching in. What else do we have? Registering at the event. You've never been to Parker, Arizona before, let's just say. Maybe you've never even been to Arizona before and you're not sure what to expect. Let's talk a little bit about that. Parker is a small town. There's not very much there, but they do have a Super Walmart, a Safeway, and a True Value, and there are uh, water dispensing, drinking water dispensing kiosks in town. So all your basics are going to be covered right there. There's a lot of other little businesses in town, but I just want to let you know that those core businesses are going to be there. So if you're there to have carpentry work done, there's going to be a true value there. Uh, if you can get as many small things as you can handle as you can manage to bring ahead of time, that's a good idea because we last year we cleaned true value out on some other items. There's going to be a Napa and an AutoZone there. So you've got that going for you if it turns out that you need stuff from those types of stores. So you're, so you're going to have stuff within reach to access at the event, but we've also got uh, 
Parker Mail and Parcel to fall back on if we need to order some things, let's say off of Amazon Prime for instance, or have them shipped in from Battleborn or things like that. I uh, made up a map of the land where the event's going to take place. The link is in the notes to that, so just click on the, I'll say, map of the event, and then there'll be a little link on there. That's a dynamic Google map hyperlink, which means it's not a picture of a map, it's actually a map on Google, and you can roll your cursor over the different areas that I've, uh, that I've mapped out, and it'll tell you what those areas are for. Now, the reason I've done this is, in the past, we just have everybody show up, and the next thing you know, we've got a solar team over here. We've got some people kind of camped around it and they're trying to get their work done. It doesn't really work out. We got another solar team over here. We got a, a team doing something over here. A bunch of people camped in the middle. Maybe they don't want to hear saws running all day long. It just makes a lot more sense for us to corral the different teams where, let's say you're a volunteer. Most of you coming to the event are volunteers, by the way, which I think is amazing so thank you for that but let's say you're a volunteer and I'm just gonna keep going back to the solar teams because that's the biggest one right now I think we have either six or seven solar teams already set up you don't want to park someplace and then have to worry about getting your tools over to where the jobs are every day so I would it just makes the most sense for all you guys to camp together that way you've got your tools, everybody's got their tools right there when they wake up in the morning and you just bring somebody in who's next on the list to have work done, bust out the job, get done what they need to, and then they go back to their camp spot and bring another vehicle in. And so when you look at that map, you're going to see the different areas uh, already made out. Now the, the main area where you're going to come and get your wristband, you, you drive up, you get on Shea Road. It's about eight and a half miles in, and you see this big production going on on the right-hand side of the road. Keep going all the way to the end of it. There'll be a telephone pole there. You'll see my bus, and you'll see tiles uh, set up with the stage and two big tents. One of those tents is going to be the SOAS, and one of those tents is going to be admin. When you see those tents come in, pull in try not to block anybody but just kind of pull in close where you can walk over to it and the admin tent will have three different tables depending on you know the the first letter of your last name so we don't have a big long line for everybody we're gonna break it up into whatever your last name is we'll have a through whatever and then then whatever and then the middle of the at the end so you come into the event park your vehicle go to the admin tent we have you on a list. We have you on a list as uh, you know you've you've registered. You've paid your uh, seventy-five dollar fee, and we're going to give you a wristband that uh, then go find yourself a parking space based on what you're there for. So, for instance, if you're there to be on the fan installation team, you you'll want to go park over in the fan installation area. If you're there just to have work done, there's some general camping areas already set up. The furthest one back away from the main stage, my bus, and everything is going to be for quiet. And we're going to try to keep that to be like the quiet camp for the folks that uh, want to be as farthest away from all the activity as possible at night. Which means if you're coming out there and you're going to want to park in the quiet camp, we're going to ask you to be very considerate with your generators. For instance, let's wrap the generator stuff up maybe as it's starting to get dark. If you want to run your generator more than that, there's other camping areas. The camping areas are in the light blue. So pick out whatever is appropriate for you I just want to give you an idea of what to expect when you uh, when you get there and how it's all going to kind of be laid out we've got some very special things planned for the ninth the evening of the night that I'm super excited about and the whole idea with this is we just want to have a good time and have everybody leave just a little bit better than they were when they got there now the spirit <clears throat> of this event is volunteering and giving so if you're watching this and you're thinking to yourself I don't really know what I need I feel really confused if I don't show up with everything I need are the 
volunteer team's going to be mad at me or they're going to say, hey man, you had all this time to prepare, why, why don't you have what you need? It's not going to be like that. We're all here to help you. Everybody wants you to succeed. Everybody wants you to win. So just remember, that's the spirit of the van build is we want you to leave better than you came and we don't expect you to know everything. Do your best to be prepared, but nobody's going to get on you if you don't have every little part. I'm going to help you pull things together from my own. I, I collect things over the years that I'm totally open to helping you get into your solar system, helping you get into your fan system, helping you get into whatever you need when it comes to the little things that you might not have been prepared for. And everybody's the same way. On that note, if you are watching this and you're thinking to yourself, well, I've done pretty good for myself over the years. Maybe I've got social security that's pretty pretty decent. Maybe I've got a p pension that's pretty decent. I've made some good financial decisions over the course of my life. I don't really feel like the van build is for me. It should be for somebody that maybe is more deserving from a financial standpoint. This is, this is the deal with that. I'm not looking for two three hundred thousand dollar class A's to pull up with ten thousand dollars worth of solar equipment and want us to put ten grand worth of solar equipment on their rig for no charge and take up all that time from the volunteers away from other people but that's an extreme case if you're coming out there with a pro master that's a couple years old and you got a couple of bucks and you're feeling kind of guilty maybe i'm taking somebody's place that really needs it it's okay go ahead and come on out and we'll be more than happy to do the install for you if while you're there you see somebody around you that might could use some help Maybe they've got enough money for the solar panel and the batteries, but they don't have enough money for the inverter or they don't have enough money for some of the other little things that they need. Maybe you could sponsor them and say, look here, let me go ahead and help you out with that. You know, I've done well for myself. I've had, I've, I've had things work out well for me. I'm here. I'm enjoying the whole festivities and what I'm getting done. Let me pitch in and help you out a little bit. And that doesn't have to be anything that goes through me. It doesn't have to be anything I have to know anything about. That's the spirit of the van build. So I don't want you to feel like if you're, if you're uh, coming in well-funded that you're not welcome. Everybody's welcome as long as that spirit of giving is present. That's the whole main thing of the van build. So I'm, I know I've been rambling a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and cut this short. I'm super excited. We're coming down the home stretch. Check out those links down in the notes. Pick up some stuff off of Amazon for some people. They, they're really going to be able to, to use it and need it. And you're helping people out more than you probably know by doing that. Also, click the link on the map and get an idea of the lay of the land. And that way you can decide where you may want to park. There's a whole down lower area. It's hard to tell on the map because the map doesn't show dimensions very easily. But there's a whole lower area on the lower part of the map that's in blue that's an excellent camping area. And it puts you really close to the festivities. But maybe not so close that the that the music at night is going to be right up on you. Uh, just, just take a look at the map. If you're volunteering for a certain thing, we want you to more or less park in that area so everything's kind of consolidated and it makes sense and people aren't on top of each other. I'll go ahead and leave it there. Thanks for watching. Super excited, you guys, that this is coming up. We're just a week away and for me, it's, it's going to be such an exciting thing because I've been working on this for so many months and finally I can just take a deep breath and say, alright, here we go. And so, Wherever you are, get excited. It's going to be a fun time. Everybody is going to love you at this event, okay? Everybody's pulling for you. Everybody wants you to succeed. So go in knowing that, and this is going to be our experience. All right, guys. See you soon.